This is your Extreme Weather Outlook for this Friday. I'm meteorologist Daniel Kaiser. We continue to track extreme heat across portions of the southern and southwestern United States as we go throughout the day today. We also have an enhanced risk of severe weather in the central United States, and we're watching heavy rain across portions of Florida. But as we take a look at record highs from the day on Thursday, this is just a few of the record highs set across portions of California. We saw 120 in Thermal, 105 in Sacramento, 94 in San Francisco. As we take a look at your heat concerns continuing today across the Southwest, we have excessive heat warnings from Phoenix into California, including Sacramento. In San Francisco, we will be a bit cooler today, a high of 81, but 109 expected in Las Vegas, 111 in in Phoenix, as we take a look at the Phoenix seven day, we do see slightly cooler weather as we go into the weekend, but highs return to around 113 by next Tuesday and Wednesday. In Death Valley, we'll see 121 for a high on your Friday, slightly cooler this weekend, but highs return to around 120 by next Wednesday. We also have some heat advisories across the southern United States as we go throughout your Friday. We could see a heat index value Friday afternoon of 111 down in Brownsville. Now across the central United States, particularly in the Kansas City area, we will be watching the potential for some strong to severe storms later today into the Friday night time frame. We do have an enhanced risk of severe weather in place across the Kansas City area for Friday and Friday night. Large hail is the main threat, but damaging winds and a few tornadoes will be possible as well. Now we'll take you down to Florida. Tampa has seen almost four inches of rain in the past five days, including a record amount of rain on Wednesday. We still do have flood watches in place in the Tampa area as we go throughout the next few days. As we look at rainfall through 7 p.m. on Sunday, we could see just under an inch of rain in Tampa with about a quarter inch of rain down in Miami. But portions of Florida could see four to five plus inches of rain through the weekend.